Somebody. We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? Um yeah, before we go on, did you see how they just dropped me right there? Anyways, my name is Joe from SwitchRPG.com. Today we are playing Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous on the Nintendo Switch. This is the cloud version. And before our or the previous episode, it was basically character building. Uh, we have our character here, Elspeth, a kinetic knight, half elf kinetic knight. So here we go. My my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't she be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary or an accommodating ditch? Well, not a ditch. An infirmary, I agree. Not here, right out in the open. Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to her? The wound looks nasty. Who did this to her? Demons, prelate. We found her barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. Okay. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take her weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. She can get her things back after the festival. They take this festival very seriously. Oh, Inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal her wounds. Ah, uh, water. You will have water. As soon as we heal your wounds. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. I'll get her. Terendalev. Has anyone seen Terendalev? Is she going to yell for her? <laughs> quick about it before it's too late now who are you I don't remember seeing you before and I have an excellent memory for faces all right do I just come out and say what my name is to tell them I'm a crusader I came to fight demons I don't remember you don't remember at all all right we'll wait until your memory returns yeah that's better I want to be kind of secretive here. I don't want these people to know who I am. My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor woman. She has been through enough already. Go on. I'll take care of her. What's her picture? <laughs> All right, as you wish. You are our protector and a dragon at that, so I shall defer to your wisdom. Huh? Dragon. Be on your guard. I've been informed she was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls. And the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday. But not you or I. Not the defenders of the city. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. Jeez. Who are you? My name is Terendalev. I am the protector of the city. Thank you for helping me. I accept me. your thanks. But my work is not yet done. What happened to me? I do not know yet. And that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Can I go? I don't care that she's a dragon. Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. 
Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendelev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. As I've said before in the previous episode, this is obviously uh, originated on the PC, so... I really am interested in how they've adapted controller support in this. Now, they've also impl implemented controller support on the PC, which I haven't played before. Um, but in, in doing this, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that you can manipulate with mouse and, and whatnot. So uh, here's our cursor. We can actually expand this. We can learn about certain things. So if also, if we go up, um, I think it's mostly the highlighted things. I thought we could... Can we go right there? Hmm. I wanted to kind of go up, but maybe it only goes on the last bit of dialogue. Interesting. Okay. Day of the city. Canabras is a city poised on the border between two worlds on one side. Okay. I didn't get to read that. And that is tiny. Tiny, tiny. All right. So I can move around my character. Oh, there we go. Move the camera. Rotate the camera, move my character with the left stick. I can pause. Boop. Pause. I can go to the menu. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. So I got all I can hold it in. And it's a bunch of cards. That is really cool. I like that. I like that a, a lot. Uh, so we can take a look at our equipment, inventory, character, spell book, journal, rest. Uh, one thing I want to do actually. Um bu -bu 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 it wasn't there, so I'm going to push plus. And push minus. It didn't do what I wanted to do. Alright, so turn-based combat. That's So if you look on the bottom, the kind of close to the center of the turn-based combat, real-time with pause. So I'm assuming and hoping that it's already turn-based combat with this here. Action bar. So we have uh, Dismiss Infusion. What else we got? Gather power low, medium, high. There's my earth blast. And we got 10 spaces for our hot bar. Nice. And so we'll go back here. What else do we have? Highlight objects with L. Oh, I like that. I like that. The guard, peasant. There is no mini map, I don't see anyway. Cursor with the L. Oh, so we do have a facsimile cursor, which is kind of interesting. So if I wanted to maybe click on all right, something interactable, I guess. Uh, there's really, other than people here, there's nothing interactable. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 cursor, go away. Go away. Cool. All right, so where are we going again? There's like no map. I mean, we have a compass. All right, characters and interactive objects. You can interact with the various objects such as doors, chests, by approaching them and pressing um, pressing A. Some special objects have an icon above them. This also allows you to talk to characters. Hold L uh, as we've done. Cool. Um, why did you tell me this? Is there something here? Dang, there's a lot of people's here. What's in wait for me there? I wonder. She's like really a mad woman. <laughs> I didn't think. I mean, I heard some of the dialogue options in, in creating her. I didn't think she was going to be this crazy. Holy cow. Hey, Horgus. What am I... What am I trapped on here? It's like... What's happening? I can't... I can't go that way. Okay. Uh, was there a map? Nope, that's not a map. Map, map, map. There was a map. Here's the map. Where am I supposed to go? Come on. Alright, this kind of curse is kind of crazy. Orgus. Oh boy. Uh, darts competition. I don't, I don't think that's where I need to go. Drinking contest. Oh, look. It just brings her right there. That is freaking cool. Does she just kind of talk to her? Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun. Mm, this way. 
Yeah, she's, she's crazy. Our chick is crazy. I love it. What if I start doing magic right now? How will they how will they appreciate that? What have we got here? My legs carry me. This is the drinking contest? <laughs> nice. Alright. Who is you? I think I can just do this. Like, everything is free. What's she gonna do? Right in the jowl. That's how it's done. Oh boy. This is not good. It's fine. Everything's fine. I guess are we getting into it? Are we getting into it? Whoa. Discari, Lord of Locusts, leave my city. Oh crap. She is a dragon. Um not anymore. What the? Discari himself. Blimey! One minute we had a dragon, the next, bam, she was gone. What are you gonna do? Fight or flee? If flee is your plan, let me help you out. I've got a scroll here with a good protective spell. I'll try and fight. Let's get on this. A light crossbow? You just give me the freaking most useless thing? Person who made it. Said it could pierce the heart of a demon lord, even. It's just a light crossbow. Try not to get eaten now. This is probably really bad. There we go. Here's my toy crossbow. Pew! Oh boy. Behold, Iomane. Behold the death I saw. Oh man. I don't even get my weapons back. That kind of stinks. All demons have resistance to some types of energy damage. The silver dragon Terendaleb. Oh, the silver dragon. Canabras fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. All right, devoured by darkness, the festival organized to raise the spirits of the city has ended in death and destruction. Those... Ah, come on! I want to read all that. Uh, do we have a combat log? Mm-hmm... <laughs> Save game auto saved. Okay. Oh wait, there was um, events. All right, ref this is my crossbow. One to eight damage when equipped. Nineteen to twenty range gives me a critical hit, and I got a fifty foot range on it. And it's a simple weapon, so it's in my group. All right, where do we go? So it's kind of a a weird thing. I can kind of move my with the right stick. I can move the kind of the the camera around this way but I can move my character this way but if I click it click the right stick I can just kind of rotate around my character zoom in things of that nature so it's kind of cool to if I want to see kind of what's ahead I can click it kind of lock it down so if you're looking at the left screen you can move camera rotate camera 
So I'm on. Ro I'm actually rotating it right now. Oh, holy mother of. Small woman with messy brown hair winces in pain, uttering a stream of curses through clenched teeth. She is pinned to the ground by a couple of weighty boulders. Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole, but at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. A young woman going to be just in night armor. Can you feel your legs? I can feel my legs. I feel them all right. One say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me, but my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. That's all that matters. Now, we're going to. Hey! Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terendal appealed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? All right, so if you're not familiar with Pathfinder, there are a bunch of skill checks, and basically these are, again, your skills and whether or not you, you get them. Uh, so during the course of the game, you will have to apply skills in many different situations. Frequently, you will have to... Um, I'm trying to get over to that side. I can't go down. I can, ex nope, I can expand it, maybe. Oh, there we go. Uh, frequently, you'll have to make a skill check during dialogue here. Uh, for example, we are trying to help Sila fetch Anivia from beneath the rubble. The result of such checks determines how events subsequently pan out. Such a check is usually performed by the character with the highest bonus. So, um, it's not whoever's talking to the character. It basically goes through the whole party, which is kind of cool. Uh, such a check is used for ba ba and that's it. All right, cool. All right, so why should we help her? Uh, hold on, we're going to get you out from under there. Again, I am, my character is chaotic neutral. Uh, we don't have to rely on brute strength for this. I'll try and find something to use as a lever. Um, or I don't help anyone for free. Pay up or stay. I'm not, I mean, I am chaotic evil, but I'm not that, not that evil. So let's just see. Uh, we don't have to rely, let's try and find something. To meet someone who uses brains first and brawn second. Ugh, damn it all. I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. No, you wouldn't. I'm Nevia Tirabade of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila, paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendeb and fight demons. And well, I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendelev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's herald with the goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. So, protection was supplied by Terendelev, who literally just went out like, like, she was a freaking silver dragon. And just went out with one swipe. Like, the Lord of Locusts could have just done that, I feel like, at any point in time. He <laughs> just went out with just one swipe. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabres will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? Alright, Wardstone. The Wardstone are a change in powerful artifacts, keeping the Whirlwound's expansion at bay. The first and the greatest in the chain was erected in the city of Canabras by the hand of the Inheritor himself, a golden-winged angel sent by the goddess Iomade. Uh, let's get rid of that. Alright, I came to here to fight the Abyss. I'm a scholar. I came here to see Whirlbound with my own eyes. One person's war is another person's opportunity. I'm in the city to seek my fortune. I am led by destiny. Don't know why. You know, why don't we just go with that? Or I can just... Who I am is none of your business. Uh, one person's... I'm led by destiny? 
I don't know why fate has brought me here, but I feel like it was not by chance. Destiny is destiny. So it's either one or the other. Either fate is having a right old laugh at your expense, or Lady Luck sent you to us for a reason. Fate isn't what brought us here, and fate won't get us out either. Uh, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. Of course. To summarize, there are three of us with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. All right, you have multiple party character, uh, multiple characters in your party. Uh, to select them, press the ZL to link several characters together. Okay. All right, let's mess around with that. So. Shall we move? We shall move. So we can go link. All right, so these are linked. Okay. Stealth. Oh. <laughs> uh, reorder. No, we're not. I, I just want to see what these all do. AI. Full position. Cool. Let's shake a leg. All right, hmm. let's check out some bodies. I thought she was coming with us. What did I miss on that? Wherever my legs carry me. All right, chill. Looks like we're getting sun here. Sun. Loots. Oh, come on. Highlight that stuff. Information. Uh, heavy shield. Ever burning torch. A flail. Cloak of resistance already. Heck yeah. There's my long sword. And there's a short spear. A uh, simple proficiency as well. It does, um, all right, this one has a crit range. Can I just automatically, uh, collect all. All right, you have acquired new pieces. Right. ZR, this woman is crazy. <laughs> um, right, can I just go to equipment? All right, cloak right here. Cloak resistance, so this will give us resistance bonuses and uh, resistance bonus and uh, I'm sorry on all saving throws so we'll do that oh, we do have a new weapon I don't want this freaking crossbow oh when did we get this all right sounds good sounds good sounds... all right I debating here photo 11 yeah I'm going long sword is this two hand one-handed I can do this does that mean I cannot cast spells or does that mean actually take off I think this is the other hand is this the other hand or is this just another set piece I think it might be another set piece we'll try doing this or I can go like I said we can go sword and board this gives us uh, plus two but we do have an armor check penalty plus two to AC but there's an armor check penalty for when I'm casting <laughs> All right, so now we have a pretty high AC for earlier in the game. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. How do I switch party members? There we go. What do you got, my lady? All right, we're we're the same. <laughs> All right, you have nothing, no wearables. Can I take this and give it to my other character? Nah. All right, so you have. Oh, so I yeah, I can do that. That's what I'm gonna do. Equipment. I should still have that. I still have a light crossbow, don't I? Yeah. So this will be my other my other set here. And then um what else was there? Short spear, ever burning torch. Uh, 
I don't know why I'll need that for burning torch, but maybe put that on the uh, third. Because this does something, right? And then for now, I'll just do that. <laughs> now I'm at a medium load? Yeah, maybe that's a bad idea. Alright, we're at a light load. So we have, we're not taking any penalties for that, although. We kind of, I just want to have one option for range, whether it's a throwing dagger or, or this. That's four pounds. Right. For adventure. Let's go. Trail me. Loots. What is you? A scale. Okay. I'll take it. What's in there? Who's there? A fi the fine apparel of this young half-elf woman is torn with and stained with blood, dust, and dirt. However, she holds herself with such dignity that you would be forgiven for thinking you were at a high society party. And not in the dark catacombs under the city. Her fingers grip her rapier hilt with confidence, ready to draw at a moment's notice. At her feet lies a dead body, so mutilated that, at first glance, it's hard to tell if it's human or animal. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... When... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I thought, naively it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev, I can't wrap my head around it. Uh, we need to keep moving. There must be a way back to the surface. I mean, I, w I would never say this because I I don't even know Terendalev. You want to join us? Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? What happened to this poor man? I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him, but he was already dead, sadly. He didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard. Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. Hang on. I think I know him. His name's Aravashniel, the egghead from the library. He was a good lad, even if he was kind of stuck up. May his soul rest in peace. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack, only to perish under a pile of rubble. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. <sighs> Alright, your companion, Camellia, has the ability to cure light wounds. To use it, press ZL on the command. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. I mean, it's it's kind of kind of dark here, so let's go to Camilla. I heed the voice of the spirits. Action bar. Can I heal him? It should work. Is it flawed? Magritium Turinos. I mean, we, we did just get an item, right? Can I go? Abilities, usable items. I want to be able to... Abilities, usable items. I want to be able to put an, an item on there. Alright, so that's how I would change that context menu. Hmm. All right. So if I go here, okay, I am her. We shall move. How do I use an item? Like I want to use. Th say I want to use this. Okay. Uh, this is a. Uh, da -da 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 you restore life to a deceased party member. So I'm guessing this guy's not a party member. Whoa. What's happening? There's a lot going on. All right, so there's there's the masterwork dagger, one of four damage. All right, well we'll take it. 
I think I took it. I want to see what Camilla does. Open your heart to me. Uh, in dark places such as caves, it's hard to see anything. There's two main ways to light your path. The first is to cast light spell, which I don't know if I have. The second is to give one of the ever-burning torches to carry. All right, so she does rapier, and she's going to have just a... Um, you know what? Actually, I want the dagger. And then she can have... She can have the the crossbow. All right, she's still in the light range. Does she have the spell? Light spell? I can trust you. All right, let's close that. Does she have light spell? Oh, she can enlarge person? Noise. All right, she does not. Ah, uh, she I'll might. Help where I can. All right, that I don't want to know. Can we close that? How do you close that? What's happening here? <laughs> oh man, uh, charge smite evil, fight defensively. Okay, we don't know that. Combat log, go away. Um, toggle size. No, I want it to go away actually. I really messed things up here. Hang on. No cursor, go away. All right, cursor is gone. I like that. All right, combat. We are in combat. I want to get that right-hand side of the screen out of there. I also wanted to have light, but all right. <laughs> in the game, combat can happen in real time or turn-based mode when combat begins. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do real time with pause. So enemies are highlighted green. I mean, red. And allies are green. The timer over the heads counts down. Da, da, da. So usually it's six seconds per turn. I see blood. Blood. Yeah, we're going turn based. All right, so see heal is first. All right, cool. So we can actually inspect these characters or enemies since. Considering we've never seen them before, this is interesting. So they have a charge, and they have a few other things. Let's go up there, man. Guide my blade. Why do you have nothing? Man, this combat log is really starting to bother me. How do I get out of this combat log? Why is it not going away? I'm pushing minus, or I mean uh, right. Okay, I guess it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So now it is my turn. So I guess I was in real time with pause, which is really weird because it says real time with pause combat on the bottom. It was just really messed me up. So on the bottom, we have a free five foot, five foot of movement for free. And then we have a move action and then usually a, uh, I guess a standard action. I don't, I don't know what they call it here, uh, but that's it. We don't have to take our full movement, um, but if we can, we can. Oh, it's also it's a standard action. Okay. Um, we can take two double moves. And we also have a swift and a free. We'll see what those are. But why don't we see what we got here? Smite evil and charge. We're going to do a charge. We should have... Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, yeah. So the path again? to the target is blocked. So we're actually going to have to move here. I get This will be fine. So that's some of our movement. So charge is a full round action. So we're actually not going to be able to do that. So I think we should just go up and attack. All right. 
pretty simple there. And this is our character. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Just, just attacker. Yep, these guys are pretty easy, pretty squishy. Is that it? Are there more? I mean, what else are we doing here? End turn. Okay. I guess, um, go loot? I don't know. Is there... Maybe there are more up here. Alright, I can't stop a turn in in the middle. So we have spiritual weapon enhancement. We have the smith spell. We have cure light wounds and enlarge person. I think we're just... I, I don't know. I, I, I shouldn't really be up front with her. Can we just... Yeah, let's get off to the side here. I'm going to go back, actually. Yeah, that's fine. End her turn. Wow. Double move. <laughs> Attack of opportunity. Combat is finished. I want to know why this is not going away now. Alright, bottle of oil. Alright, we're just... Just loot for money purposes. Gold coins. And what do we have here? Banded mail. No, we have padded armor. Alright, we'll see who needs that in a second. Boy, this combat log is really bothering me. I'll figure that out at, at some point. All right, another scale item. All right, so we do have someone up ahead. Quick, quick, else we miss all the fun. All our car linked. Can we go in stealthy? <laughs> uh, I want her to stealth and you stealth. I want to try and get a surprise round in here. And we're going to have to do that with her, I think. Just gonna freaking charge in there. Oh, not in there yet. Oh, we're in battle. Never mind. That's okay. We'll get over here. We're still in stealth. Can we get out of stealth? I right, can. Press L. Okay. Um, spiritual weapon enhancement. Let's go ahead and do that on self. Right? Or did we just... Did that just happen? I think it just happens. Okay. End turn. Alright, she's gonna charge like I'd wanted to. And she's still sneaking. Ooh, this guy's a little meteor. Not like a meteor meteor. He just... Never mind. Alright, let's get rid of stealth. We're not we're no longer stealthy. Okay, I did get rid of it. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's end it here. Now I want to see how this enlarges her. So this is this is gonna affect her in a, in a couple of different ways. So enlarged person, what it does is it increases. It gives them a plus two in strength, uh, but a penalty of dexterity. So that means it kind of lowers their AC. So I want I want to see how this works. All right, so the character actually does get big. That's pretty cool. Can I do another charge attack, or am I not? Am I too close? Yeah, I'm too close. That's okay. Not your not your fault. We're learning here. Go ahead and attack. I, a critical mess? You serious? Well, you don't have double attack, so let's uh let's try this. And uh, yeah, end our turn. Let's get over there and attack this this thing. 
Another miss? What the heck is going on? My goodness. Alright, so, um, ba -ba -bum. who has the torch? I think she does. Nope, she doesn't have it. Does anyone have it? You got a dagger. Alright, you do have the torch. Okay, so, yeah, you're the... Oh, got it. I don't know what I did differently, honestly. I did I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Alright. There we go. This is simple. So this gives us ability to kind of see up ahead. I, we did see I did see a um a bug that way. So let's uh let's move. Oh, I am still enlarged. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, this is not not perfect here. What do we got here? We got a bug. Hopefully it's just one bug. Unfortunately, I won't be able to attack. You can five foot step right there. What is this? Why can't I move? That was only a five foot step. And it's kind of useless. I'm not sure what I did. It's gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot of that in this. I mean, I hit five foot step and it only moved me five feet, but I'm I don't see myself able to do anything else. All right, or only five foot stepping. All right, this is Camellia. Can we get up there and attack? We can. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, there is another enemy there. Spitting giant centipede. Nice. She's not in a party for some reason. I'll see what I can do. Rainbow quartz used to brew potions. Flame tongue. This is a cooking ingredient. Now I don't know which way we're supposed to go. Right, we have our stuff. Oh, I gotta change the formation. I don't know why she went up there. The paladin's gotta go first. She must have a high initiative. She's always going first. All right, let's let's do some some tactics here. We're gonna move up ahead this way. I'm assuming that there are some other enemies up that way, and then we're gonna perform a spiritual weapon, and then end our turn. See, see what happens now. Because of whatever formation is set, she is in the way. And her her greatest asset right now is the charge ability, which I can't freaking do because she is in the way. Now, I could five foot step, but the last time I did that, it did not let me do anything else. So there's the five foot step. Oh, okay. I, I don't know what happened last time. And then now I can't charge because I already I moved. No, you didn't. That's all I can do. That th That's weird. I, I didn't think that was the, the, the case for that. But that's okay. Well, I guess we'll end our turn. Where's her health? Okay, I see it now. Let's go ahead and take an attack here. And do I get an... 
Hmm. I don't know if this thing has combat reflexes. But I shouldn't provoke an attack of opportunity anyway. But I'm going to end it here. Because now I'm going to have... I should have flanking... Gonna do a charge attack. Nope, too close. Nope, no, you didn't. I'm attacking with a freaking torch, you bozo. Wow, okay. So, hopefully, I can do this with a free action or a swift. Oh my gosh. X. There we go. Can I attack now? The light take you. And I freaking miss. Critical miss, right? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like... Whatever. Go for their heart. I can. Lead on. So we'll take that scale. Is she alive now? We do need to heal her. So we'll switch to Camellia. She has one more cure. Light wounds. And I think she's the one. The spirits guide me. I don't think she did it. There we go. That's a little bit more better. Alright, can I change the formation here? I the voice of the there we go. There's the formation. So, do, 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 do. how does one change this? I mean, I don't mind this. I just need to change it. So, move character. Alright, this is kind of how I want it. I want her to be there. And then these guys kind of right behind her. There you go. That's... I think that's okay. And my primary is going to be her. So now, this is how the car the, the line should be. Why can't I get this? Oh, I gotta skin it. Skin, oh, skin failed. I gotta get a huntsman here. On my way. I keep pushing up, thinking that I'll get to this option, and obviously it's not. What is up? Oh, that would be perfect if I could just hit up and bam. Okay. This is simple. Who is you? No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. You struggle to make out the man's features in the gloom. As soon as he steps into the circle light, however, you realize that you have never encountered a creature like this before. The stranger looks like the work of a vivisectionist who attempted to stitch together a lizard and a man. When do I... The man notices you and freezes, the curling horn protruding from its head cast a malevolent, malevolent shadow on the cave wall. What the heck is that? Lan, did you find it? Who the woman looks the woman looks just as strange as her companion, like a cross between a cat and a spider. When she catches sight of you, she immediately drops into fighting stance. Her movements reveal the lethal grace of a wild predator. The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait, they might know what's going on up there. Uh, should I just attack? What are you doing here? That's none of your We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. 
They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the Holy Sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. <laughs> it's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame and will burn anyone who touches it. You think you're special, Lan? I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. All right. Uh, who are you, Tieflings? Uh, maze? Does it really lead to the surface? We'll find the sword faster if we work together. I'll help you. Oh, no. Yes. There are other ways up. But they are far from here, and after the earthquakes, there's a good chance they've collapsed. But the maze... There's a legend among our people that when the walls of the maze fall, that will be a signal for us, the underground crusaders. That the time has come to go up to the surface and fight the demons in the final confrontation. Until then, the people say the maze is shielding us from taking rash actions. I'm the only one in our whole tribe to have been in the maze. And even I don't know if it's true. But the further I went in the maze, the fresher the air became. That means that it really must lead to the surface. When the ceiling and walls started shaking, the young ones in our tribe lost their heads. They figured the maze was going to collapse, so it was time to go up to the surface. They grabbed whatever weapons were on hand and ran off toward the maze. They think the maze is no longer a danger to them. They've been listening to Wendwog too much. Don't try to blame this on me. Yes, I told them that our people are capable of making our way through the maze. In the future. But I always told them to wait until I had made a map of all the maze's dangers. I warned them a hundred times. But it was no use. My words just went in one ear and out the other. You would think that this maze would have been already mapped out after a while. All right, Sword of Holy Flame, how did it end up down here? It came here with its owner a long time ago. 50,000 gongs, to be precise. 50,000 gongs? Seems like a long time. 70 years ago, in Uplander time. Oh, okay. <laughs> 50,000 gongs ago, our forebears found a dead angel here, along with the bodies of his comrades. The tribe gave them a dignified burial, and they were laid to rest with their weapons. But the flaming angelic sword was stuck in a rock, and no one was able to pull it out. It burned to the touch, like real fire. So the rock was placed over the angel's grave. It should be here somewhere. Maybe the angel will dig himself out and find the sword for us. That might be our best shot in this chaos. Lan, watch your tongue. Okay, well, we'll find the sword faster if we work together. I just kind of want to keep this sword. Um, I can help you, but you're going to have to pay for it. Let's Thanks. just do this. An extra pair of eyes can only help. This sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks, uh, swordy. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? 
What? You want to find the sword quickly, so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. Alright, some interactive ar objects aren't easy to find. When moving past such an object, each character would automatically make a perception skill check. If the check is successful, the object is found and highlighted to draw your attention to it. You can now interact with it. Okay, so we have some new party members. Um, oh, maybe not. Maybe they're just like uh, Anivia here. Alright, we are going to hold off here. We're going to continue this in the next episode. Thank you much, so much for sticking around. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.